Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the pupillary light reflex. This is the reflex that adjusts the size of the pupil in response to light. So I'm going to draw a diagram and we're going to be looking at a human from the top downward. So here are two eyes. And here is the midline of the head. This is the left side and this is the right side. Remember we're looking from the top down. Now I'm just going to draw in the main nuclei and locations of cell bodies involved. So I'll label these now. Here is the retinal ganglion cell of the eye and it receives input from rods and cones. This is the pretectal nucleus in the midbrain. These are the Eidinger westphal nuclei, also in the midbrain, and note that there are matching nuclei on the opposite side of the midline. These are the ciliary ganglia, and they, because they are ganglia, are located outside the CNS. So I'll join all this up. Here's an axon going to the pretectal nucleus. And this innovates two outputs, one to the Eidinger westphal nucleus on each side of the brainstem. The cells in the Eidinger westphal nuclei project to the ciliary ganglia. The cell bodies in the ciliary ganglion then project to the muscles which contract the pupil. So this nerve here is the optic nerve, also known as cranial nerve 2. This nerve here is the ocular motor nerve. also known as cranial nerve 3. Now if light is shone in the eye from here, the photoreceptors send a signal to the retinal ganglion cell, which sends its signal down the optic nerve. This signal gets sent to both sides of the brain stem to the Eidinger westphal nuclei, and then on to the ciliary ganglion on the ipsilateral side. When the ciliary ganglia innervate the muscles around the pupil, they cause contraction of the pupil. The muscle that does this is called sphincter pupillae. It also causes contraction on the opposite side. So shining light in one eye causes contraction of the pupil in both eyes, if this reflex is working properly. Now note how many neurons there are. There's one here. The second here. The third here. And here. And the fourth here and here. So this is a four neuron reflex. And that's the pupillary light reflex. For more free tutorials and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.handwrittentutorials.com.